hello guys welcome back to another awesome video and in this video i'm going to be breaking down gold straight from the daily time frame up to the five minute or even the one minute time frame okay so uh if you'd like to receive more videos like this make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell and if you you'll have any question just feel free to leave them down in the comment section you can also comment down uh, the next pair that you'd like me to break down. The first step I'll do, or the first step I normally do, is that I move to the daily time frame. I zoom out. Now from the daily time frame, what I look for, I look for uh, the place where liquidity, liquidity is, okay? Let me just mark the places I see liquidity. First of all, uh, there's a lot of liquidity in this area. Just a second. There's a lot of liquidity in the place where I have drawn my trend line, but that is not enough. And I'll have to look uh, at the range in which price is trading in okay so i'll turn this like this and mark my ranges remember this is on the daily time frame now that is my low then i'll mark my high And hmm. okay, now I have marked my high and my low. The next step is to look at uh, which of the following highs or low is weak and which one is strong. Okay, when we look at uh, this chart here we can see that the market is on a, a bearish trend or the market is trending downwards okay and we also look at uh, we determine where the most important liquidity is so the most important liquidity is the type of liquidity that the markets would want to seek first before it moves again okay and we know that uh, when we have a major grab of liquidity uh, that equals a major move in the market okay and now if i look back a little bit we can see that the market uh, previously previously traded inside here okay so inside here is what we call a rejection candle okay we have a rejection candle here and now for us to for us to determine to look at the rejection candle we'll have to zoom a little bit okay and go to the lower time frame let's go to here to the four hour time frame okay that there is our previous high we create another we mark that high Okay. Let's move back and see what what happened here. Okay. When we look at our rejection block here, let move let's move back to the daily time frame. You see that the market traded above it, okay? Which means it took liquidity that was up there and then the market started rallying down to seek the sell side liquidity and the sell side liquidity that the market is gonna seek is this the internal range liquidity that is uh above this low here so i expect this market to come and pierce down and take the liquidity that is below 
this low here okay another thing that we can do is we can look at the strong structure and compare it uh, and strengthen our confluence that uh, the market is on a bearish movement <clears throat> and the market is seeking to take the previous low okay now if we take a look let's move to the forward time frame where everything is a little bit clear i want you to to look at these rallies here okay we had the market uh, the market causing manipulation and then moving to the opposite direction okay now what we see here uh, in this place the market came up the market came up and took out this previous high okay so that was a manipulation or liquidity grab and then the market moved downwards okay and then when the market moved downwards what happened here is that this high was protected the algo are al algo, algo <coughs> Sorry. this high is protected by the algo which means that the market cannot trade above it it's impossible for the market to trade above this high why because the banks have their orders on top of this high so what we see here is what we call an inducement okay for a strong to be for a high or a low to be strong there has to be an inducement and there has to be an imbalance so we see here when we look here we can see that there is a high volume imbalance in the market and then we see that we have an inducement after inducement we have what we call a displacement the red candle here is a displacement okay now uh, after the displacement uh, so you can see that we have uh, we had a liquidity grab or manipulation after the manipulation we had the inducement after the inducement we have displacement that shows that this high cannot be taken out by them this high is very strong and it can't be taken out okay now let's move on again we, we see that these laws here are broken see this block here this mitigation block here is broken uh, this uh, sell to buy candle let me just mark it and you can see that the market traded back into it in a pip and then the market rallied down to this area where we are seeing a little bit of consolidation okay now we know that our bias is bearish let's move to the uh, one hour time frame and just because the 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 daily time frame says that the market is bearish doesn't mean that you have to sell okay now on the one hour time frame what we can see that the market has been accumulating for a long period of time for hours i mean for days the market has been accumulating okay and the reason why the market does this uh, there are only two reasons i mean uh, three reasons okay one reason is that the market uh, is accumulating more orders and then taking out everybody in the market those who are not smart in the market okay and then after taking out everybody who is not smart it moves to the opposite direction okay so 
you have to be familiar with what is called the AMD accumulation manipulation and distribution the only reason why the market is accumulating here is to cause a manipulation and then uh, a distribution okay in this case what I expect what I expect to happen here is an manipulation to the upside uh, to, to trigger to trigger the buys and to to cause panic so that people can buy the market and then it moves downwards taking everybody out okay so that's what i expect to happen here in in gold even if we move to the 30 minute time frame you can see that the market has been relatively uh, in one place just accumulating more orders and then the market will come will will go up and then go down because our daily time frame says the market is on a bearish trend and we have important liquidity uh, at the lowest low at the lowest range sorry and again if you move to the daily time frame you have to see you have to uh, to be familiar with what we call the market maker buy model and the market maker sell model what we can see here we have just spot it look at what we have there okay this is now the market maker sell model below these accumulation levels we see that uh, the market accumulates in these areas this area here and this area here and this area here below these levels are is a lot of liquidity so the market will want to come down and take out the liquidity that is here and the liquidity that is here uh, that is the market maker sell mod sell model uh, I'll show you uh, the buy model in the next video even though it clearly appears in this video here and That's all for the video guys. I don't want to make it long. I'll make sure you subscribe to my channel To receive more videos like this. Okay, uh, and that's all for the video guys. Thank you. Have a nice day